Many of us came of age uh, on the Reagan Revolution. I mean, I remember the 1976 campaign in 1980 and in 84. So as we began to develop the real character of America once again, it was Ronald Reagan that was leading that, bringing pride back to this nation. You've got to remember the difficulties of the 70s and 21% prime interest rates and how uh, jobs were leaving this country. Ronald Reagan brought back that optimism. He made you feel good about being America. It was the shining city on a hill. We were all working together to stay the course. And in uh, September of 1986, I had a chance to go to the White House with the JCs and meet the president and hear him. And he came into the room a little late as presidents get busy. And we were a bunch of young JCs. But I remember after waiting a half an hour or so, he, he walked in not 10 feet from me. And there was Ronald Reagan. And he walked to the podium and he said, well, Remember that? He said, well, I'm going to tell you like Liz Taylor told her fifth husband, don't worry, I won't keep you long. And we all laughed and applauded and we're standing on our feet. There he was, the embodiment of what we believe was good and strong about America. The character of this country was emblazoned on his heart and, and he shared that with each one of us. So. I left the White House that day, I was in the insurance industry and I was doing really well and I came home and told my wife, I've got to get into public life. I have to make a difference. I met the president, I saw him, uh, I've got to do my part uh, to continue as a good citizen of America, not only the rights that had been bestowed upon me by my divine creator, but the responsibilities and Ronald Reagan taught you the difference.